Here are a few tips on how to set up your Pro Series camera and connect to your mobile device. First of all, you need to use a prosumer level tripod like the one I have here. It's important because it really needs to hold at least 10 pounds. So with the prosumer level tripod, the way I like to set it up is I straighten out the legs like so, open up the quick release clamps, have the tripod as vertical as possible. In this case, my tripod does have a bubble level, so I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of that. If you don't have a bubble level on your tripod, it's totally fine. As long as the tripod right now looks pretty much vertical, you'll be fine. So for now, assuming my top plate is all the way down like this, I'm gonna have this at just about four feet, give or take, and then lock everything into position. All right, open up the legs. Now I'm gonna bring the center post up so that my plate is just over four feet or at about four feet. That way, when I have the camera up here, if it's the Pro 2, the center lens, or if it's the Pro 3, the only lens, will be at about four and a half feet, which is really a good place to be for just about every use case, certainly for the promote use case like residential or commercial real estate. Of course, in your use case, if the height of the camera should be a little different, a little higher or lower, definitely go ahead and set it up that way. Now, because I am using the Pro 2, I need a quick release clamp. I could set up the camera directly on the tripod itself, but as you can see, when I try and do that, it's a little cumbersome and I have to rotate the camera and it's really just not ideal. The camera could fall and we definitely don't want that. So what I will do is use a quick release clamp. And in this case, I have to remove the thread from the center. This is an adapter that I don't need in my case. And I'm just gonna put the quick release clamp right on the tripod. I do not recommend using any kind of head, certainly not a pan tilt head. The camera will see those arms. Ball heads are also not recommended because the camera does rotate and you don't want that loosening up on you. So the best practice is really tripod, quick release clamp and camera, nothing else. Now setting up the camera is really quite simple. I just line up the plate that's on the bottom of the camera and slide that in. At this point, I really don't wanna let go of the camera just because I don't want it to tip over by accident. So I'll have a hand on the base here, just feeling around, making sure that the plate is flush with the quick release clamp. And once I know that, I can go ahead and tighten this up. With that tight, I'm gonna use my hand to just make sure that this is not going anywhere. Now with the Pro 2, the level can be up to 17 degrees off level, which is incredibly high. So if I look at this and try to see the top of the camera rotating this, if that looks level, you're fine. You don't need any more than that. There's no reason to have any sort of leveling contraption between the tripod and the camera. On the back of the camera, you have two buttons, a battery status button and a power button. So I'll just press the power button to turn on the camera. The camera will take just a minute to warm up. And once that Wi-Fi icon is blinking, I can go ahead and use my mobile device to connect to the camera. Now with the Wi-Fi icon blinking, I can go ahead and go into settings, Wi-Fi. The camera is generating a Wi-Fi signal right now. And as soon as my phone picks it up, I'll be able to find it. You can see it says Matterport P771. P771 is the serial number of this camera. Once I have that blue check mark, I am connected. I can get out of here, go into my Matterport app, hit new job. And you can see the camera button just above the scan button says Matterport Pro 2, which indicates I am connected to the camera and I'm ready to scan.